Hey Generals fans, Ryan Connell here back for Season 2 of Generals in 60. This is your one-stop shop where we recap everything that happened in the last week of WNL Athletics in 60 seconds or less. Let's go. It was a fantastic opening weekend for the Washington and Lee volleyball team as they rallied from two sets down to beat number 12 Barry in five sets on Friday. The Generals then added wins over Hardin Simmons and Sewanee in four sets to wrap up the weekend 3-0. The Generals women's cross country team placed first at the Bridgewater Cross Country Challenge on Friday night. The WNL had its top seven runners all finish in the top 12 overall. The men's XC team also raced at Bridgewater on Friday and placed second as a team. Senior Henry Hayden and first year William Deloach paced the way for the Generals as they finished second second and third overall. The WNL women's soccer team kicked off the season at the Stand on Their Shoulders Invitational in upstate New York. The Blue and White dropped their opening game 1-0 to TCNJ, but followed that up with a 2-0 victory over number 20 William Smith. WNL field hockey went 1-1 to start 2024 as they beat St. Mary's College of Maryland 1-zip on Friday before falling to number 2 Johns Hopkins 5-1 on Sunday. And lastly, the Generals men's soccer team lost a couple of close games at home this weekend to number 24 Johns Hopkins 2-0 and to Catholic 2-1. More fall sports action this weekend as the WNL football team kicks off their season at Salisbury as that concludes this edition of Generals in 60.